My main challenge is being a stay-at-home mom of now six kids. Um, it's literally just around the clock and never stops. Um, right now, as I say this, I'm <laughs> breastfeeding my baby, um, who is five months old. Um, and I thought years ago when, when I was a single mom with two kids and I was working a ton of crazy hours, um, and I had to support myself and my kids on practically nothing, and I had very little help. I thought that that was, and like having gone through my divorce to someone that I loved so deeply and having that ripped away from me and it wasn't my choice, I thought that was the most difficult thing I was ever going to have to go through. Um, and then overnight, I went from being a stay-at-home, I mean a working mom of two to a stay-at-home mom of five. And then right after that, um, I got pregnant and was completely bedridden for my entire pregnancy and was so sick um, that the only, the only thing that ever made me feel just the teeniest bit better, the only thing that helped my terrible nausea that was 24-7 was eating and eating stuff that was really high fat. It was the only thing that would make me feel somewhat okay for maybe like 20 minutes. And so I, I gained a lot of weight and it was really hard. And then after I had the baby, it took about two months for the nausea to go away and for all of the pain that I had endured to start going away. And it was so incredibly hard. And now I'm dealing with hormone imbalances and not being able to lose weight. No, this isn't daddy. And not being able to lose weight and just having so much of my worth as a woman tied to how I look and the fact that right after I have a baby, I don't look amazing and thin again. And, um, you know, my, my life is just so crazy. We, we go to sleep so late after getting all the kids in bed. We wake up so early and have to drive our three older kids to school uh, 40 minutes away each way and then one of them is in half day daycare so I'm going well, then I go to that? pick him up with the three younger kids well, and I drive and I drive 40 minutes there and 40 minutes back every day and then my husband has to go and pick up the older kids and drive all the way home and doesn't get home until right before it's time to put the kids in bed and we have to hurry and like shove food in everybody's mouths and it's just, it's so much harder than I thought it was going to be. And if there's anything other than loving it that I feel, um, then I get told things like, you know, not by, not by my husband, but by other people that think like, you agreed to this. You know, you knew that this was going to happen when you became a mom and so you should be happy about it and you shouldn't be complaining. And so I feel like we really need to change the conversation that happens after women have children, um, expecting them to look and act certain ways and um, and to just be so overjoyed all the time with the fact that we're like getting the life sucked out of us by our lives and sometimes by our kids too. And I think other women need to know that and know that they're not alone and know that it's okay. Thank you.